same power. There's only one here, so it's homogeneous. So this is a linear homogeneous recurrence, okay? And it has a constant coefficient of two, okay? Let's consider something else. Let's consider, let's say, B of N is equal to, let's say this one is N, N times B of N minus one, okay? Now, this is, and let's say we define B of zero to be equal to three, right? So this recurrence relation here, this recurrence uh, is linear because we have uh, all of the previous terms are defined with, within the term. There's no products of them, okay? So it's linear. It's homogeneous because we just have, we all of them, all of the previous terms have the same exponent, same power, same degree, okay? Uh, so this is a linear homogeneous recurrence but it doesn't have constant coefficients because the coefficients are going to change, yeah? Okay? So depending on which value we're, we're, we're calculating, so B1 is effectively equal to one times, okay? B of one minus one, which is basically B0, which is equal to three, okay? B2 on the other hand is two times B2 minus one, which is two times B1, which is two times three. The, the key point here is this, is that you can see that it's a one here, but it's a two here. Okay? B3 okay, would be three times B3 minus one, which is three times B2, which B2 is six, so it's three times, three times six. Okay? Key point here is that the coefficients are changing. Okay? So this recurrence doesn't have constant coefficients. Okay? Uh, this is of degree one, because we were going, going back one term, and this is of degree one, yeah? So this one here is a linear, it's a linear homogeneous, homogene, homogeneous, homogeneous, okay? This is a linear homogeneous recurrence, okay? Of degree, degree one, okay? With constant, constant coefficients, coefficients. This here, okay, well, it's linear, it is linear, it's homogeneous, okay, uh, it is a recurrence relation, okay, uh, it's of degree, uh, it's of degree one, but it has with non constant, non constant coefficients, okay, coefficients. And let's just expand this out a little bit more. Let's say we have another recurrence, let's say C, Cn. Let's say we have C of n is equal to, let's say, two times C of n minus one plus three times C of n minus two, okay? So this is linear because we have, the previous terms are all wrapped up on their own within terms, okay? Uh, it's linear, it's homogeneous because they all have the same power, okay? has constant coefficients and the degree, well, there's one, two previous terms, so it's of degree two. So this is a linear homogeneous recurrence relation, degree two with constant, constant coefficients, okay? What about something like this? This is C of N is equal to two times C of N, so let's say, Let's keep the pattern going. Let's say we have D of N is equal to three times D of N minus one plus two times D of N minus one times D of N minus two, okay? Hmm, well, this is nonlinear, okay? Because we have the product of terms here, okay? So this is a nonlinear, okay? It is homogeneous because each term is raised to the power. So it is a homogeneous. It's a recurrence relation, okay? The degree is, well, how many terms do we go back? One, two, so it's of degree, of degree two. And it has constant coefficients with constant coefficients, okay? Let's do E of N. Let's say E of N is equal to three times C, so E of N minus one. Let's say we're gonna square that, plus let's say four times uh, E of n minus two times E of n minus one. Hmm, well, 
first of all, this is nonlinear because we have two terms wrapped up as a product within a term. Yeah, it's not homogeneous. Okay, so because the powers are different. Okay, uh, it's of degree two because we're going back two terms, uh, and it has constant coefficients. So this is a nonlinear, a nonlinear, heterogeneous, 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 a uh, recurrence relation of degree of degree two with constant coefficients coefficients right? Right. Uh, or if we added in a constant term as well it would definitely make a it would still be heterogeneous yeah right? okay guys so once again this is Jonathan Lambert with maths and stats uh, and I hope that this particular video uh, the first video in our series of videos dealing with recurrence relations uh, just defining what recurrence relations are, what they look like from a recursive perspective, that they basically generate sequences. Yeah, uh, But we have a lot of terminology associated with them. We have the concept of them being linear, being homogeneous, having a particular degree, constant coefficients. Uh, and these are important things for us. Uh, so I hope that this video was in some way uh, intuitive. And more importantly, I hope that was helpful. And thanks for watching. Okay, bye-bye.